Hey everyone, welcome to video 11 of basic JavaScript in which we're going to take a look at what return is in a function and how to work with it. So far what we have seen is that we can pass values in functions through something known as parameters and basically access them or set default values to them as well. Now what happens is that sometimes you want a function to do some stuff and then return you a value. So on the basis of that value, you can decide whether the function worked successfully or there was some error or something like that. So what you make use of is of a return keyword, right? Once you write return and write something in front of it, anything which is below this return would not run. For example, let's say I say my awesome function right here returns me 100, right? And what I do is that I get rid of both of these calls and instead I say let my result is my awesome function see how am I assigning my result to whatever value this my awesome function would return me right so I'm gonna say ABC DEF right so what happens is that I'm calling this function this function would execute and whatever this function would return would get stored into my result now what I can do is obviously go ahead and say console log my result and hit save, right? So you would see that we get 100. However, we do not get console logged ABC and one ABC and DEF. Why is that? Well, I told you anything below this return statement would not run. If I comment out this return statement, hit save, you would see I get ABC, DEF and undefined. Now, why is this undefined? When you run a function and you not, do not return anything from it, JavaScript automatically places this return undefined, undefined statement from it, right? So if you do not return anything, that function would automatically return undefined, right? Now you can basically return anything from JavaScript in, in a JavaScript function, right? I showed you you can return numbers. However, it, not, it need not be a number. It could be a string. See, it could be a string, it could be a boolean, it could be an object with a key value pair. You see, we get a nice little object with key value. Just ignore this underscore underscore proto for now. We're going to come to that later on. But for now, just focus that we have a key value pair. Basically, you can return another function itself. Now, how would you do that? Well, you can create a function here itself and we have not talked about anonymous functions but just remember that this function is kind of a function which does not have any name hence anonymous right so I can say this returns me a function which just says console log of hey I am a function right hit save you see we get a function instead so now my result is not actually a result it is itself a function. So if I execute my result and hit save, you see that we get, hey, I'm a function. And we also get undefined because this is not returning anything, right? So that was, I guess, um, what, we, what we want to, you know, basically know about um, returns in JavaScript at this stage. But uh, there's a lot more complicated and interesting stuff as well but for now mostly you would be dealing with numbers strings and maybe objects but not for sure functions right that's something you would not really um, need soon enough right so yeah i guess that's all for this video and i'll see you then in the next one